the broadcast. Well, Clive Owen is one of the most versatile actors in Hollywood, from challenging artistic roles to big-budget blockbuster movies. He has tackled them all, and luckily, he joins us now to talk about his latest project, which is called Blood Ties. Good morning, Clive. How are you? Good morning. Very good. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Pleasure to speak with you. So talk to me about this new movie, Blood Ties. Um, it's based on a true story about two French guys originally. We've relocated it to uh, New York in the 70s. One brother's a big time villain and the other one's a cop. And it's about how my character is the one, is released from prison, tries to go straight, finds that difficult, goes back to his old ways and suddenly causes real problems within the family. So what sort of preparation goes into a, a, a real life story like this? Um, well, I did a lot of work with uh, the, 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 the guy who directed it, Guillaume Canet, is also an actor, and uh, oddly, he was in the original movie playing one of the brothers, so he was very close to the material. So I spent a lot of time with him talking through the script, working through the script. I actually also met the guy that I played, the, 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 guy, the French guy, and, uh, but really it was about, you know, the preparation for me is always about honing the script and making sure that everything rings true and, you know, you sort everything out before you actually get to shooting the thing. Do you actually get to speak to them after it's all done, maybe after they've seen the film, to get their impression of how you played his character? Um, well, because this is such a relocation, because they've already done a sort of French film, I'm sure he actually doesn't speak any English, the guy that I play. <laughs> That's so, problematic. Uh, it's probably good news for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and I want to ask you about another project, too, because it's one that, that is close to us here at the broadcast, because a friend of ours, Gary Kogel, a friend of the show, uh, did a film called Words and Pictures uh, that you were in. And I just wanted yeah. to ask you about that experience. And, you know, we were so proud of him and excited for him um, when that film got such a great reaction from from uh, audience yes no it's um it's a, I film I had a great time doing it was a it was a great script and uh, it was opposite Juliet Binoche who I've always been a huge fan of and um, Fred Skepsi directed it and it comes out um, a little later this year and uh, it's a it's a it's a film that I'm, I'm very proud of I think it's I think it's uh, it's a really good movie. Clive, are you real careful about, well, and I guess that, that's, of course, you're careful about it, but is there something specific that you look for in roles to maybe challenge yourself um, as, you, as you look to taking on your next role? Not really. It's, I mean, I'm very instinctive. The script comes through and it's, you know, I read it and I sort of get attracted to it or not, and then it's all about who's directing it, really. And although I've had a very mixed and sort of varied career and you look, go back and look at the parts and they seem to sort of jump all over the place, it's really just a summary of a series of individual decisions of going, I like this material, I'd like to play that part. I mean, I'm attracted to playing different things and not repeating myself and not doing the same thing. So, you know, that obviously comes into play, but no, I'm, I'm always open to anything and just sort of go with my instinct, really. It's interesting what you said, though, about the director being the most important element for you. I, I maybe would have thought your, your co-stars, you know, to, to work with them so closely would be the deciding factor, but really it's the director. No, no, it's, I mean, it used to be the script because I started in the theatre, so, you know, the dialogue and the, and the writing was hugely important, but over the years I realised that it's a director's medium. At the end of the day, their taste dictates everything, you know, and they have to make all the choices and all the decisions. And it's their, you know, they're the boss. And uh, as an actor in a movie, you're offering things up for a director and trusting the director and wanting to work with that person becomes, for me, the most important thing. Have you tried your hand at directing or will you? I haven't. I think about it sometimes, but I've never, I've never come across the, a piece of material that sort of I'm passionate enough to stop acting and, and to actually go and direct. Well, actually, that's good news for people like me who are huge fans. Uh, you're just such a wonderful actor, and I really look forward to seeing Blood Ties, so thank you for being with us. Thank you. Blood Ties hits select theaters tomorrow for show.